was the first demonstration that false memory could be reduced after sleep. So it's, it's a very interesting finding, and we need to extend this in several ways. So um, one important question that people always ask is how much sleep is necessary for this sort of consolidation. Um, so we will be doing studies to look at that. The second thing that's important is to figure out um, when during sleep this sort of consolidation occurs. So um, there's a lot of evidence to suggest that um, declarative memory is consolidated during slow-wave sleep. Um, we don't know um, sort of when during sleep we, we would see these false, um, this reduction in false memory or when this type of memory would be consolidated. Um, so in order to better understand the mechanism that, that could be causing this effect, we need to you know, get a little more into the underlying biology and try to understand maybe the, the physiology of the effect. One way that this could be very important to sort of the broader community would be in education. So anytime a student goes to take a test, particularly a multiple choice exam, um, the responses or the answers are often designed to trick the student, right? So the other foils tend to be very similar to the correct answer, but differ in one important way. Um, given our research, it, it's possible that um, students will find it easier to reject, reject those close foils after sleep than after a duration of wakefulness. Um, another way this might potentially be important um, is for basic everyday memory confusion. So a lot of people who take multiple medications may forget which medication they took at which time or at what time they took their medication um, and may confuse you know, different aspects of this. Um, it's possible that they may have an easier time sort of rejecting the, the false information or, or rejecting this memory confusion after sleep. Um, lastly, we know um, one area that this could be important is that we know that elderly individuals generally have worse memory than younger individuals. Um, we also know from, from other research on false memory that elderly individuals tend to be more prone to false memories. Um, Given the work that we've done, it's possible that sleep may actually help them to reject this false information. Um, and potentially this could help to, if we can look more deeply into this, we may be able to improve their quality of life in some way.